This is CSTV, featuring interviews with various guests as we discuss interesting topics and upcoming events. And also join us as we visit public and social gatherings throughout the Pacific Northwest when CSTV is out and about. Welcome to this episode of CSTV. Aloha, I'm Gloria Nahalea with CSTV Northwest. And today we have a special guest artist. We have Cousin Wally. Damn, she did that really good, yeah? Yeah, practice just for you. Professional. I like that. Yes. Yeah, nice to see you again. Hey. Thanks for not, you know, kicking me out of your kitchen. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is, this is going to be a fun dish. We're going to make well, something today. What are we yeah, cooking? Yeah, show you chicken because everybody thinks, you know, I'm one of those cooks that like, I want that easy recipe. Mm -hmm. And I've heard all kinds of, there was a friend of mine in Kahulu, the Carvalho's, and she would take like an hour and a half, two hours to make her show you chicken. And it was really, really good. You know the one with the, that, that glaze that comes on oh, and yeah. you it's sticky and that was, oh no, but took too long. So then I tried to find a good recipe for a restaurant mm -hmm. because I was with the Dela Cruz brothers and feeding that family was like a restaurant. Of course. There was like 15 at least every day. Yeah. So this is what I learned about show you chicken. You can stretch them because drumsticks are cheap. That's number one. Okay. And, you know, for those of you, we're filming this not in Las Vegas, but in where? In Washington. Washington. So the weather a little bit different. Yes. The price is a little bit different. Yes. But I found that these these drumsticks was probably the cheapest. Where did we go for this? Uh, and it was a regular supermarket. So that was really good. If you go to, you know, some of these mom and pop's market, can go down to 89 cents. California, I got them for 49 cents a pound. So you can feed a lot it. of people. Of course. You know, we're talking about catering, partying, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I brought this recipe from the Lurleen shipping people. Oh, uh, nice. Lucio Aguilar, who lives in Las Vegas, was one of the uh, chefs up on board. And she said she knew how to make it really easy. 45 minutes, show you chicken. Never bring it to a boil. And the recipe is easy. Equal parts. Done. So, everybody says aloha shoyu. Okay, let's go with aloha shoyu. Kikoman shoyu. Okay, let's go with kikoman shoyu. Yamasa, they're mm -hmm. all about the same. You got to taste it for yourself. For us today, we don't have aloha shoyu. But I have, um, can we mention the names yeah. or not? Kikoman, because that's what this area sells, so that's what we use. All I did was equal parts, okay? So, Gloria, show you first. <laughs> Okay, here's and our dump show them you. On in. How come they say show you instead of soy sauce? Because socks? that's the way Aloha show you is spelt on the bottle. <laughs> I noticed that S H O Y U, show you. And if you go to the other brands, it's S O Y sauce, soy yes. sauce. So I guess it. Don't tell me it's another one of them Hawaiian things. Could be. Okay, now let's do the, the sugar, then the sesame oil. And equal parts. Yeah, all equal parts. Get them all. That's why we brought the spoon. Okay, okay. We'll get that out. Now, this show you chicken. Mm -hmm. You're going to cook it 45 minutes on low. You never bring it to a boil. Once it starts rolling to boil, bring it down to warm, take it back up. The reason you want to... I say that because I'm using one of these... Um, what do they call this? Stewing pots, roasters, or something? If you have a stove, it's a lot easier. Put it on low, leave it alone. Sooner or later, it'll start to boil, but it's already cooking. But it's slowly cooking. Now, when it slowly cooks, that means no one come off the bone. With drumsticks, that's very important for serving. You don't want them all palahela and the kind of broken upon. Now, we also bring this spoon because teaspoon is very good to peel the ginger root. You take it like this and you just peel it and it just comes right off. Okay. okay. From there, you grate it. And I didn't bring the grater. They know oh, what it looks like. Fun. But you got to hand grate them. Yeah. Then after that, okay, you wonder why we're not doing the ginger part, right? Couldn't find it. I got this instead. So what I'm saying is show you chicken so easy, you can make it without all the exact ingredients that it calls for. This kind, Mama-san at the Okazuya made up this recipe. 
so it's good any, any which way. I like the ginger. I use a lot of ginger. So I would probably use maybe about six inches of ginger, grate it, squeeze the juice out, and add it to this. Mm. Okay. Now, in lieu of that, I'm going to do this one. And you can't do it. The ginger is what makes you teriyaki. That's the taste. Excuse me, it's making noises. <laughs> it's, it's not you. Gloria. I have, <laughs> I, Gloria asked me to make sure the fans know it's not her. Oh, there you go again. Okay, she it's good. It's a natural process. Cover her up. Okay. Okay. Now, once you got this, then you have your assistant. She owns the joint, but she's my assistant. Gloria, <laughs> I need water. Quick. One cup water. Okay, but... With the water, because we're using kikomanya, stronger than aloha, go for two cup. Cup and a half, two cup. Cup and a half. So we're going for two cup this time around because that's what we're using, okay? Well, I think this is going to be... Oh, no. See, she wasn't listening. We're going to try this again. Okay. <laughs> because we're using kikoman shoyu, it's stronger shoyu or soy sauce. Use either cup and a half to two cups. So oh. my assistant is going to rush over there to the well, <laughs> down by the river... Down by the river here in Washington, and it's cold, so. Then she's gonna pour it in this container and just whisk it up. Like that. That's the one to pour them down. Okay. Go a cup and a half and stop. Go ahead, some more. Pop. Okay. Now whisk it all up. This is how the Mama San told me how to do it. When you get to this point, because this was back in the 60s, because boy, you put all the stuff, and she measured with her hand. So for this show, we had to go use measuring cups, right? But she measured, she dump, 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 right? And then she said, put your hand inside and swish around in the shoyu because that's the only way you know the sugar is going to be dissolved. We're using a whisk because the Board of Health just passed her. She can. How good? All diluted. I'm not sure it's all diluted all the way. Is it? No, it's not. Yeah. And I think that's that's one of the reasons I like using brown sugar. Okay, she good. She good? Yes, yeah, she good. Okay. Now all we're gonna do is take the chicken, we turn the fire other... on, right? Oh. Yeah. But you have to let this set so the, the oh, okay, let okay. all the ginger and everything. I'm so near. Okay, like she's it. rushing. I'm so near. Because I have yet to put the sesame yes. oil in. But that's coming later, okay? Okay. And we put the green onion. First, we'll go to the chicken. Chicken first. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, she's going to place all the chicken in there. Inside here. Turn your fire on to high. And the reason I say high is this. The chicken is still cold. It's not really room temperature. Normally, room temperature, you put it all in, you throw the sauce on, you put it on low, and walk away for 45 minutes or so, and it'll be done. And that's what we're going to do now. Okay. So she can either put them in really one by one. Go ahead. Or do or do, do the your, way she does. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like that. Okay, now it's in. <laughs> is it on? It is on. Wonderful. Make them all one layer. Make them all one layer. There you go. Now normally you would use a stew pot, it would be a lot easier. Uh, but I didn't have that handy this morning because they didn't plan on this. I woke up this morning and read Facebook. And it said I was going to do this this morning. So here we are. <laughs> it, we're doing this. You guys saw the pictures I sent. It was a cold winter day. I was looking out on our stage thinking, oh, today going to be relaxed. So we're here now. Okay, it's on, right? Yep, it's on. And I'll pour your sauce over it. Okay. Now this is in just one unit. It's a one unit thing. If you have a stove, you can cook something else right next to it. Just cover the whole thing. And because you'll notice that the sauce doesn't cover the chicken all the way, I'm going to have you allow the chicken to come to a heated temperature. And in about 10 minutes, we're going to flip it over. And when we flip it over, that'll take care of the other side for another 10 minutes. And then we flip it back and just let it set there. Uh, if your equipment comes to a boil, make sure you bring it down. Again, if you have a stove, even better. 
So when we come back, we'll see what it looks like, and maybe we do something else because I didn't finish with the um, with the uh, cooking portion. Okay. You need to now just drizzle this all on it. Drizzle on all the. You can put it in the sauce or you can drizzle. Okay. On the. Just all on the chicken, all over. And the rest right in the sauce. Okay. And let's see where we are on the heat. Where are we on the heat? We're good. Okay. We're good. Cover and let's take a break. Let's go get a glass of wine. Oh, that sounds good. I like that. Red or white? Any wine. Okay. We'll be back. Now this, at the end of the cooking, you add this. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're back already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cheering. Cheers. Cheering, everybody. You know, for us, this is Thanksgiving. We never had turkey, so we made chicken. Show you chicken, drumsticks. Uh, it took us a while because we drink a little. Mmm. To the audience. Mm -hmm. Now, here's, here's your last job to this, Cam. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And this can make or break your catering. Okay. It's the garnish. All right. You're right on. Do your band. Go, girl. Oh, no. That's to show you chicken. Just sprinkle. That's one pot. One time, put it in. 45 minutes later, this is it. Oh, look how pretty it is. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of that. We're good. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. It's oh, no, delicious. It's grinding. Okay, guys, time. line up. Get your plates. It's we grinds. do have the macaroni salad coming up. And, oh, sorry, you guys got to wait next segment. <laughs> <laughs> on how to make the macaroni sound. But we're going to be, this is a plate lunch. Well, we could do that. We could do a show you plate lunch. Okay. It looks well, so on yeah. oh. But the, see that little show you and all this, um, I guess I got to call it chicken fat, is what causes all this liquid because we added all equal parts. And there you go. Okay, so we'll be right back. Um, maybe we can get some people to taste this. I think so. I'm sure we have people in the audience. Let's do that. We'll invite them up. There's six. Can we make four plates at least? <laughs> Bill, B Bill don't have to eat. I don't have to eat. The rest of you guys are okay. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back to uh, CSTV Northwest. I'm Gloria Nahalea, and I have cousin Wally. How's it? How's it going? I never go no place. Where are you coming back from? <laughs> <laughs> I went nowhere, babe. You went nowhere? But nowhere. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm watching the water boil. Look. You are watching the water boil. You gave me instructions. You said you wanted show you chicken, macaroni, <laughs> salad, and rice. We went pow the rice. See, the rice almost pow. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Not a macaroni salad pot. Okay. So that, oh, wait, wait, wait. The, the, it's no it's can, no oh, can, no can. can. Don't buy no pot. Can. Don't buy. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, we're going to do the macaroni salad, but we might have to take a break. Okay, let's take. No, been, because my, no, my wine is getting warm. Oh, it is? Yeah, so where's the macaroni? Hmm. 
You know, you buy on book, send them okay, to okay, school. Okay, 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 okay. I bring the, your macaroni. Oh, no, the macaroni. Macaroni, macaroni, macaroni. Okay, okay, okay. But it's good to have her around. Okay. I had brought the macaroni. Thank you. Now what are you going to do with that? <laughs> it's not this is your first time chefing. <laughs> Here's your spoon. You know what? Let's cheers to sure. the holidays. Happy this holidays, This is what we want to do. We want to enjoy our holidays. I am. Because we don't want to be stressful. Okay. Okay, so Fine. we're not going to be stressful. So now you're not going to make it at all. Hmm. But you have said that you have made some of the finest macaroni salads. No, others have said I made some okay macaroni salad. Mm. First off, I'm not a chef. I'm a cook. If I go to somebody's house, my first, um, my first thing is to go into the refrigerator and the cupboards. Yes, you're very nosy because that way. They just found that out. We but found anyway, we're going to take this macaroni. Okay, put, okay, okay. Place it gently in the boiling water because no splash get burned. Hey! You need the spoon, otherwise you're going to splash, get burned. <laughs> Yikes. There you go. There you go. Put it all in. Okay. All. Okay. Okay. Now, that macaroni has been um, uh, shaped as an elbow. We don't know why. What we're doing is we had pre-cooked some, but you know when you're in a, the restaurant business, you've got to make sure everything is fresh. So what we're doing is we're boiling it some more. Macaroni salad, you got to cook the macaroni really, really to its fullest. You know how they say you can throw spaghetti and hit the wall? What they call that? El dente? El dente. El dente. Yes. You need to be able to do that with the macaroni. <laughs> the reason for okay. that is this, flavor. If you half cook the macaroni, you, lo you lose the flavor, it tastes hard. Okay? Okay. Number two, when you cook the macaroni to the fullest extent, you, get, you yield more. So when you're packing a plate, for instance, that one scoop that we use yes. is humongous. Because if you take another macaroni salad and you don't cook it to the fullest, you're going to have to use double this to fill that little container. Hmm. So cook it. For another reason is flavor. Flavor and taste. When I do macaroni, it's in the water. So we're going to do this. Oh, just add a little People salt. People say, oh, too much salt? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. Because you're not adding the salt to the macaroni, you're adding it to the water. Let it come to a boil. On boil it to, you know when you taste something, bite the dentures, no fall off kind? That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> no, then after that, you add your egg. That's the way the I like to add egg, yes, that's the secret to macaroni salad, to me, to any salad. The yolk adds the color, flavor. No, it's not mustard, it's the yolk. But what I do, and it was taught to me by Auntie Mohala Reed, she takes the boiled eggs, chills them, and then we grate them mm. into the hot macaroni. So in the pukas of the macaroni, the elbow, all the yolk goes when we're mixing, okay? Because we're mixing it together. Then we add the carrot. The onion, this is for color. It does give a little taste, but I, to me, celery is labor intensive. Because <laughs> you got to take the, the, the fiber out, right? It's labor intensive, got too much water for my macaroni salad. I use green onion. And the reason I use green onion, it, it just adds another uh, level of flavor to the macaroni salad. A nice color. So you got green, you got the carrot. I grate the carrots on the big side. I don't use the store bought. Reason? This cost me three cents today. The automatic grated one, the one they chop chop, is what, five dollars a bag, something like that? The whole bag of carrots, and I can make like ten times this, cost me fifty cents. And you don't need a whole lot of carrot. Carrots don't add any flavor. They're just for color. It's just color. Yeah. Otherwise, look anemic. You know, because you get your deviled egg, your carrot, your onion, and your best food mayonnaise. That one I can say best foods. I don't care if you sponsor me or not. Any Kanaka can tell you best foods, right? Now, best foods comes in many different disguises. Yes. Hellman's. Hellman's is good. It is best foods. But the one that threw me off is Smith's. And they have Kroger. It's close. 
So if you're looking at price and you cannot afford Best Foods, because Best Foods is about $3.59 a quart. You can get it $2.59 on sale in Vegas. Uh, I'm not sure about this area, how it, how it is. This area but, yeah, can get. So it can be expensive. Try, try your nearest um, Kroger, Kroger mayonnaise. Or for us, only Best Foods. So that's all we do, yeah. Best Foods. But that's how we do our macaroni salad. We're waiting for it to come to a boil. Once it does, we'll drain it, get it dry, and then we'll assemble your macaroni salad. It's easy, duck soup. We'll be right back. So what you think it's done? I sure know. You know, macaroni gotta be cooked real like they can hardly work from El Dente. So I'm gonna get that macaroni, I'm gonna throw it to you if she's stuck. <laughs> she good. Okay? okay. Get ready. Okay. <laughs> oh kidokis. Oh look! Our chicken is almost done. Oh. <clears throat> Okay, now we do this because you don't want them hot. You got to air them out, right? See, you want this macaroni hot so that it eat up the egg. That's why I don't understand when people make macaroni salad cold. Mm. No makes sense to me. <clears throat> well, maybe it's not because they're not using the egg since you're adding that extra. I thought every salad had egg. Not every... Really? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with these people? I don't know. Oh, otherwise it's only macaroni, salt, pepper, and I um uh, carrots. Yeah. Cheering, gang. Cheers. I like working at this restaurant because it reminds me of Rap Rafflinger and Auntie Maria Lani. Oh. And you look something like her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You guys know Auntie Maria Lani? Mm -hmm. Okay. She had enhancements in her show. Oh. Oh, in her, in her, in show. her show. She had enhancements in, in her, her show. show. Okay. She had enhancements. Now, once it's in a colander, you know, when I elbow like this, mm -hmm. stuck the water, right? Yeah. So you just make all like this little bit. Okay. Get all the water out. Because really, there's nothing worse than a watery macaroni salad. You want to breathe a little bit. It sounds funny, but you know, Hawaiian food, it's all about the love. Mm -hmm. When you was making the Kalua pig uh, earlier today, you went lomi, the Hawaiian salt in. Yeah. You know, some people, they just throw the salt. Oh, no, you got to... That's why no come out. Listen, lomi. Hawaiian, they love their food, so we make really nice to the food. Okay. Macaroni. Okay. Devil leg on the shredder because you, you like them um, small, so it goes into everything. Simple? Mm -hmm. Bill said use pepper. Well, I don't use salt because when I boil the macaroni, I already okay. salt the water. Yeah. So no need salt, but yeah, do the pepper. Uh, do some carrots. Almost like emerald, yeah? Yeah. Now I gotta clean that damn thing up. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now when you add your green onions, you're just adding for color, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. From there, what next? Mayo. Mm. Best food, man. Who's the assistant here, me or her? Best foods. Well, go get Best it. Best foods. Oh, okay, okay, Jesus. okay. Jesus. Oh, mercy, mercy, you mercy. You know, when they come kumuhula, that's how they be. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, cameraman, move. You're blocking her mayonnaise. <laughs> so, Okay. There you go. Scoop some inside. I think I need, oops. I think I need a little more onion maybe. Scoop them. Gonna be more than that. Okay. Now you take your first stir. And that's why you notice I'm using the paddle. Mm -hmm. The paddle seems to get the thing mixed really easy. Okay. 
Bang, your macaroni salad. How? Now, this is the part that people forget. This is still warm. So now the taste of this mayonnaise, mm -hmm. the taste of the egg, can be sopped up by the elbow macaroni. Okay. Later on, you're going to have to add more mayonnaise. So add some more now. Honest. You make them, you make them a little bit too much mayonnaise. So by the time okay. cool off, yeah, she perfect. And if not, add some more. Because remember, you're going for the yield, right? There you go. And that's got to be the simplest macaroni salad you ever had. Oh, looks good. Try looks, him. Oh, no. Make the cameraman try him. He's not doing nothing. Only yeah. holding the camera. Okay. <laughs> How is it? More? Oh, he's saying it's, oh, no, it's good. good. So Ooh, it's good. easy. Just remember, if you don't like Edom, your friends don't like them either. Okay? Next time we come back, we'll cook something else. Until then, and to Maria Lani over here, Cousin Wally, I hope to be back real soon. If not, Malay Kaliki Maka. Aloha. I'd hammer out warning. I'd hammer out love between the brothers and the sisters. Oh, all over this land. <laughs> here we go. Show you chicken. Looks good, doesn't it? Mm. That is very tender. I'm very impressed with it. And it's not too salty. I would think that with all the uh, soy sauce that it might be a little, little salty, but it's not. It's very, very good. In fact, it's very sweet. Good job. It's really good. Very good. Excellent. Five stars. <laughs> yes. Egg, it's really good. Mm -hmm. And the macaroni salad and the rice is perfect. So it's great. It, it's wonderful. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you guys can cook for me anytime. Mm. <laughs>